Hey, everything's cool. <laughs> everything's fine. Everything's Great. more than cool. This. Everything's freezing. You have liquid yeah. nitrogen. <laughs> I, I do, I do. And I'm looking at this. This is the apparatus I made for you earlier today. And uh, it kind of built up a little bit of pressure because that's exactly what a geyser does. I just didn't realize it wouldn't release it fast enough. And then it kind of just blew what? everywhere. So <laughs> I apologize about that, ladies and gentlemen. We're trying, <laughs> so we're trying to make this whole thing work. And we're talking about Yellowstone and the geysers. Yeah. The steamboat geyser, it's at the Norris Basin. I think that's what they call it. Uh, okay. the, and and that's, the, uh, that's kind of the, the basin that has the greatest thermal activity right now and the greatest changing activity. And this thing has gone off three times in the last month. It has it's been pretty much dormant. So uh, Old Faithful is steady, reliable, steady like reliable. clockwork. And so that's why I thought we'd talk a little bit about the science of geysers. This is not reliable, and so uh, geologists have missed this now a couple of times. And I think it's just a perfect opportunity to talk geysers, which of course is fantastic. It is. Sure. Geysers are all about uh, pressure, temperature, and plumbing. It's easy plumbing. enough. All right. Pressure, temperature, and plumbing. Remember these as a kid? They were called love meters. Do you remember love meters as a kid? I, I so, do remember, yeah, yeah, the yeah, temperature. You go to Spencer Gifts. I'm dating myself. Yes. Okay. Okay. Under the top, careful. Top, okay. And then, now, so here, watch this. If we hold it to still so the camera can kind of get in, there is a liquid here at the bottom. And so if you put your hand around it, it's going to warm the liquid. When you warm the liquid and you increase the pressure, so you see how we're increasing the pressure? Right. Here? Increase the pressure. Don't touch the top. Oh, don't touch top. it. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. It's now warming. See how it starts to work its My way up? My hands must right. be cold. Oh, there it goes. It's bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. This is exactly what happens with a geyser, right? You increase the temperature of that liquid. That liquid now goes up through the plumbing, and then you get those little spurts. Right. So that's what we had going on here. I'm trying to still get this water uh, heated up enough that you'll start to see this rise. Uh, so in time, you'll kind of see kind of what happens with it. But that's what's happening with this geyser. So the geyser. temperature of the earth is driving whatever is down there Absolutely, up that and thermal out. Absolutely, activity. Okay. Yeah, so that magma that's there in I the know. crust. They don't know why this one is going off, and, and it is uh, 10 times the volume volume they say of Old Faithful and scientists wow. have yet to see the actual water come out they've seen the remnants in the steam so they can't catch it just yet which is so cool if you're a science person right Let's take a take a look at this behind us you can kind of see this shooting out that's uh, pretty amazing stuff so this is the after effect so it's kind of like putting your hand around this and kind of seeing I'm the guys still trying to get there. my finally finally oh, it oh, there, it's going, I got there, it you did it you did it you took hey, forever try, try this so you see the oh don't worry about the liquid nitrogen uh. I just don't have a refrigerator so here watch this you take a uh, like a a bottle like this and you put a little water on the top of the bottle and then I'm gonna put a penny on top of the bottle like this and so Tom put your hands around it like this and just oh, warm up boy. the bottle and watch what the penny does so warm up the bottle this watch is the, the penny start to dance so it'll start to oh there it goes so it's just this little blubbling uh, so it's just building up the little pressure that's inside come on you dumb penny just do it. Come oh, on, there let's it is. do see this. It? We only have see seconds there left. There, there it is. So you see the kind of little bubble? Yeah. So you're just heating up the same kind of thing that you see with those geysers. See how that's working? There it goes. Got it? Same thing happening here. Look at this. This one's starting over here. You can start to okay. see this kind of bubbling this way. And now take a look. If we do it this way, which is a lot more. So if you really do that extreme, watch what happens. I'll show you if we kind of simulate it this way. So okay. the liquid nitrogen <laughs> goes into the container here. <laughs> oh, Don't sure. worry, Tom. You've been in this gig for a while. Yes. And now okay. this goes on top. And so now watch what happens. If you okay. take a look at, look at the liquid nitrogen shooting out, and it's here is our geyser. Isn't that just amazing? Look at that geyser. Awesome. That is right? awesome. Oh, that's a million dollar camera right there. Sorry oh, about that. It used to be. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> see, how it, see how it empties everything. Oh, so everything Steve. is empty. That pressure, that temperature, it shoots that geyser off. And so this is what a STEM advocate loves. We God. love this kind of thing because it's so great for kids to be thinking about geysers. I learned on something Facebook today. Thank you, too. Steve. I learned that this I blew up on me. That's what I, I know. Learned. We will be right back. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome.